Hello folks, it's Mika Pilar Young and do a top 100 favorite Goosebumps books and episodes of all time. Yes, top 100. Uh, there'll be some points in the video where I won't talk and I'll just say the num I'll just say the number and the title of the book or the title of the episode or whatever. But uh, yeah, there's only a few books that I'll talk about more and uh, there's some other books that I won't talk about like uh, Moth Number 4 or Tales Number 2. Anyways, Anyways, what are we waiting for guys? Let's start with number 100, GMG. We got the Mummy Walks, which was a good time. I actually really enjoyed this one. Uh, definitely better than the original 62 Mummy Box, but still suffers from uh, not that memorable. Uh, the characters are not really that uh, awesome as much as other books. And, uh, and the story is really random and very weird, but in a good way, but um, still not that memorable. And, uh, uh, no way I'd put this like top 10 or whatever. It's just top 100 for me. That's why it's number 100. Number 99, The Kuku Kaku 98 Class, 97, Controversial Opinion Guys, Night of the Living Dummy 1. 96, The Abominable Snowman of Pasadena, 95, Monster Bud 2, 94, Fifth Grade Zombies, 93, Ghost in the Mirror, 92, The Ghost of Slappy, 91, my friend Slappy. Number nine is how I learned to fly, and a lot of people will probably disagree with me, but uh, but for me, I disagree with you guys. I don't think this is like the best Christmas book of all time because this is probably the least uh, exciting one out of the ones of the bunch. Uh, I enjoy the idea, but uh, how it's executed, in my opinion, is just not very like a, a memorable or interesting because uh, it's just a kid impressing a girl, and we've seen it in a movie and. Uh, it's much better than that movie. You know what I'm talking about? Aladdin, yeah. This one is just like a, a horror version of Aladdin, but still feels to be like awesome as that movie. And uh, characters are pretty good, but uh, nothing that uh, awesome for me to talk about more about this book. So let's uh, proceed with more of the list. But I still really enjoy it, anyways. Number 89. You disagree with me? This, this one's completionist. Don't scream. 88, The Doctor Maniac for Strawberry Shorts, 87, Perfect School Episode, 86, The Ghost Next Door, 85, More Tales to Give Goosebumps, 84, Egg Monsters from Mars, 83, The Haunted Car, 82, Brain Juice, and number 81, Bride of the Living Dummy, book, not episode, episode will come, only, will come later, and it's number one, number 80, what to go to, Say Cheese and Die Screaming, very good scene. Definitely improved a lot of bad stuff from the second book and uh, ended on a good note. Yeah, even though it doesn't bring Greg back, which is a good thing because Greg was uh, pretty much unlikable in the second book. We have another new character named Julie, and she's a pretty good character. I enjoyed her. And uh, the cat and all the pages there, very gruesome. The, the, gym, the gym scene, the, the basketball scene, very, very gruesome. Uh, some of the pictures are really dark and stuff. Yeah, one involves like some uh, alligators or whatever. Yeah, very good picture. Very, very good book, I meant to. Yeah. And the Warland segment, I forgot what happened in the Warland segment, guys. Probably one of the worst Warland segments, in my opinion. But still, the first half with not the Warland segment is very, very good. Highly recommend the sequel. Number 79, Zombie Halloween, 78. Please do not feed the weird 77. Attack of the Graveyard Ghouls, 76. Revenge of the Living Dummy, 75, Night of the Living Dummy 3 episode, 74, Cry of the Cat, 73, Head of Halloween, 72, The Horror of Cat Joy Gem, 71, Stay Out of the Basement episode, bringing us to the top 70 is Escape from Shutter Mansion, very good book, definitely much better than me, over bad, over disappointment of The Haunter, yeah, Haunter was a very disappointing book. This one is like Haunter, but done better. Yeah, the kids actually stay in the house. Not unlike Haunter, they, they, they stay in the house for, a few, for the first half. And we get the second half, which is just so silly and so dumb, which you don't like it. This one, not not dumb. It's a very good book. Highly recommend this one. Kid goes to like a house uh, on like a, for a school assignment type thing with his, with the classmates. Yeah, experience scary stuff, which is very good in this book. Highly recommend this one. Yeah. 69, The Five Masks of Dr. Scream. 68, 
The Royal Shop Hamsters, 67. Creature Teacher, 66. When the Ghost Dog Howls, 65. The Horror at Shore House, 64. Escape from Borderland, 63. I am your evil twin, 62. Monster Blood, 4. 61. Wanted the Haunted Mask. Ring last at the top 60 is The Curse of Camp Cold Lake. Very good camp book. I recommend this one. It's a uh, but it's like a but a girl named Sarah going to Camp Cold Lake with her brother, and then uh, after pretending to drown the lake, she keeps uh, seeing visions of a girl named Della who's haunting the place. Della's the girl right here in the cover, this badass cover, guys. Yeah, very good cover. Tim Jacobus deserves a lot of awards for this awesome cover that made kids scared of ghosts. Yeah. Now, this one is definitely like Jaws, I think, in terms of how the cover looks like it. The, the fin coming coming out of the water it reminds me of Della coming out of the water. Yeah. yeah. Now let's move on to number 59. Coming number 59, we got Beep Trouble 1, 58, 12 Screams of Christmas, 57, Ghost Beach, 56, The Birthday Party of No Return, 55, Um Popular Pain Completionist, Are You Terrified Yet? 54, Calling More Creeps, 53, Escape from the Carnival of Wars, 52. Why I'm Afraid of Bees, 51, Jump on Heidi. Bring on the top 50, guys, is Welcome to Dead House. Yes, the one that started it all. The one that began this awesome franchise is Welcome to Dead House. Very good book, yeah. This is the one you should read. Uh, definitely the best zombie book after after the new one. Zombie Halloween was pretty good, but has some problems. This one is the best of the zombie books. The original is always the best one, guys. Yeah, but not the best Goosebumps book. Yeah, the first one, you know, but people always say first one's classic, but for me, I don't think the first one's that awesome as the ones that are coming. Yeah, I prefer 49, 49 books over this. 49 books and episodes, yeah. Yeah, but this one, definitely an enjoyable one. I re I reread a lot. Yeah. You should read this one, yeah. Definitely a great zombie book. 49, Welcome to Camp Nightmare, episode 48, I Am Slappy's Evil Twin, 47, Revenge of the Lawn Gnomes, book, 46, Creep from the Deep, 45, Welcome to Camp Nightmare, book, 44, The Girl Cried Monster, 43, Night of the Living W2, 42, The Street of Panic Park, 41, It's Alive, It's Alive, Ring as a top 40 is Monster Blood is Back, yeah, I talk about this book in my top 10 favorite sequels, and uh, it's number 40 in my top 100 books of all time, and and it's definitely an awesome book. I highly recommend this book. You don't need to read the past monster books in this book after all, because there's no ties to Evan or Matt. There's no bringing back Andy and the others. No, no, it's a brand new story, just new characters. You can just read the, this book as a standalone and stuff. It's not tied to anything at all. So you can just read this book without knowing anything about the other monster book books. He had a good time still. And still, it's a very good book. I highly recommend this one. This is like a cooking book, in my opinion. This book, this book takes place in a cooking competition. Definitely really good. Yeah. Out of the 2021 books uh, I've read, I have not read Judy and the Beast yet. I have not even got a copy yet. And I think this is the best one that came out in 2021 so far. Let's see Judy and the Beast. If it does it beat this one, or beat or the Great Zombies, or is it the worst one? Out of the bunch. Yeah, ready to. I'm really excited to read Judy and the Beast. Sounds really awesome. Yeah. 39. The Scarecrow Walks at Midnight. 38. Goosebumps Completionist. You'd get mad at this one, I guess. Werewolf Skin. 37. Diary of a Dummy. 36. Slappy's Tales of Horror. 6. Uh, 35. Goosebumps Graphics Number 3. 34. Bride of the Living Dummy Episode. 33. Graphics Number 2. 32. It Came from Beneath the Sink. 31, the Headless Ghost episode, and bringing us to the top 30, folks, is how I got my strength in my book. Oh, um, I thought one of my books fell down. Yeah. Yeah, I'll never show that is a very good book. Yeah. And uh, you might think, oh, it's another Night of the Living Dummy Ripoff. No, it's an, it's an original story about a kid going to battle the world to, to meet his aunt, but turns out his aunt's missing. And, uh, and they talk about Jungle Magic on this book, and it's a very good book. Yeah, it's definitely a better adventure book than Deep Trouble. My opinion, definitely one of the best adventure books in this month. Not the best one. There's a few better ones. Yeah, you know that one. But uh, still, this is a very good book. Yeah.
You should read this. Why are you doing it at your home? Read this book right now. Yeah. Bring us to number 29 is One Day Quarrel Episode 28, Stay Out of Basement Book. 27, The Girl Craig Monster Episode. 26, The Blood I Eat Everyone. 25, Chilogy Episode. 24, Vampire Breath. 23, The Lord of Snowman. 22, The Werewolf of Fever Swamp Episode. Number 21, we got Fever Swamp. And number, bring us to the top 20 is Tales to Give You Swamps. Tales to Give You Swamps, number 4, Special Edition, number 4. Yeah. It's still more tales to be this one. It's awesome book. Has some great stories. A lot of, like uh, ones like uh, the Wish, uh, Pumpkin Juice, and the Goblin's Blair. Those are like the best ones in the book. But you have some like uh, the Scarecrow or the Space Suit Snatcher. Obviously, bats about bats, which are probably the worst ones in this book. But still, it's a very good book. Really enjoy the stories and all. Enjoy the stories, and uh, that's all I can say. I'm gonna say, but it's a Halloween book. And by the way, it says it's a Halloween book, but there's one story named an old, called an old story that's not even Halloween. Very odd. But still, a great read. Number 19, we got A Night in Terror Tower, episode 18, I Live in Your Basement, 17, How to Kill a Monster, 16, Attack of the Jack Lanterns, 15, The Haunted Mouse 2, 14, The Haunted Mouse 2, episode. Number 13, we got Piano Lessons Can Be Murder. 12, The Headless Ghost Book, 11, Ghost Camp. Now let's go back to talking because it's been a long time since I talked. And uh, here's Night of the Living Dummy 3. Very good conclusion to the trilogy. Since we got two, which is a clone of the first one. The first one was pretty good, but it has some problems. The third one uh, ended in a good note. Yeah. Slap his back, and then he got a whole family of dummies. Yeah. Yeah, to make this not a ripoff entirely, we got some new things like new dummies around the house, got a cousin joining in, got an uncle joining in, yeah. Now, are you sure it's a bit of a clone the first two, but still has some stuff to make it improve? Like some great characters and stuff, yeah. Dan's a really good brother, I like Zane as a cousin, yeah. Everyone's really good here, yeah. Nothing I'll say. Although the third act episode is much better than the book, but I still think I prefer the book over the episode, yeah. Number nine, we got the dummy meets the mummy. Yeah, very good episode. Very good book. I meant, yeah, not episode. Uh, great crossover between the two titans, Aragorn and Slappy. Yeah, Aragorn has never been a big sense book besides this, but he's a great monster. Definitely one of the best mummy villains in this one. He's not as iconic as Koru, but a he's a great villain. Yeah, has some really gruesome scenes like. Ripping on a man's mustache off and fighting Slappy in the end. Yeah, really good scenes with Arrow Goddess as a villain. Number 8 is The Haunted School. Okay. Yeah. Haunted School is a very good uh, book. Yeah. How do you recommend this one? Yeah. Take a shot where I say how do you recommend this one? Yeah. Anyway, so this is a great uh, book. Uh, it's about a kid named Tommy going to new school and then getting lost in a, in a maze of. of hallways and stuff and uh, he gets transported to a gray world and stuff with, with a friend. Very good eerie book. Yeah, this one's very eerie. Yeah, uh, people say Haunted Mouse is eerie, but uh, I think this is more eerie than that book, but it's no way as good as Haunted Mouse, guys. Number seven, we got the Beast from the East, the best Goosebumps adventure book. Yeah, this is a great book, has some really good surprises, has some lots of twists and turns. Never pauses for for a boring scene at all. It's very, very fast and it's in a good way fast. Not in like a bad way fast. Yeah. It's a very good book. Um, beasts are really good characters. Sometimes their dialogue reminds me of the forest dialogue in One Night Warland, which you'll know it'll be higher on the list. Yeah. Yeah, and by the way, do you think this forest is really weird? Because to me, the forest is that weird. I mean, there's so many weird stuff like a squirrel dog? Are you nuts? Um, there's bushes, purple bushes, really, yellow grass, really, yeah, very odd forest. Number six, we got the Shock Run, Shock Street, a uh, very good, uh, Dr. Jurassic Park like book. You know what Jurassic Park was? No. Anatomic dinosaurs, whatever. Uh, what if those anatomic dinosaurs came to life? And your answer would be a Shock Run, Shock Street. Very good book, it never pauses for a moment. There's a lot of twists and turns, and... Coming into new monsters and entering a lot of new stuff. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's uh, why it's higher on the list. Yeah. Good characters, by the way. And uh, people complain about the twist. I don't think it's that bad because there's some foreshadowing in the first few pages. Yeah. Uh, number. Bring us to the top five. We have Saint She's and I, the first book I got. Probably the most nostalgic one I got because this is the first Goosebumps book I owned and got. And uh, this is not the first book I read. The first one I read, the first one I read was Ghost Next Door. This one was probably like the second one I read. I don't know, not the second one. Probably one of the first few books I read, one of the last books I read in the original series. Yeah, really weird. Uh, this is actually one of the last ones I read. But still a very good classic book. Yeah. There's a, there's a lot of let's say, scary scenes like birds bent up neck or the picture with the Sherry's uh, being invisible and in the, in the car wreck accident. Yeah. Who doesn't love car, car wreck accidents in a book? Yeah. Very good, the gory stuff. Hmm? Bring us to number four, we got the Nine Terror Tower book, not episode. Episode we talked about a while ago, not that one. The book. Very good book. Hmm? Has a lot of. Oopsie, hold on. Has a lot of great scenes. There's a lot of good chases. Even though people complain about the chase scenes being way too long, I personally like them because um, it's a uh, it's fast and uh, it never pauses for a moment. Originally, Stein had more chase scenes, but uh, uh, they to people told him to cut them out. So good thing he cut them out because this book would have been a, a boring like chase scene type book. But good thing there's not so much chase scenes. When I got chase scenes in the first half, that's a good thing. Bring us to the top three. Yeah, it's the top three guys. We got Slappy's Nightmare. A great Slappy book. The best Slappy book of all time. Yeah. Has a uh, great moment to Slappy. He's, uh, a, his uh, interpretation of this book is very, very hilarious. On not uh, wanting to be like, uh, like dead, uh, the whole plot is like a Christmas Carol. You know, a Christmas Carol by uh, Charles Dickens. The story, yeah. Yeah, that story is similar to this one. I don't know why, but I think Stein got some inspiration from that book to this one, yeah. Comment down below and tell me if uh, you think it's uh, true, but yeah. Very good book. Number two, we got the both Haunted Mask book and episode. Yeah, it's not a tie between both. I really like the book and I love the episode as well, yeah. Yeah, I did review this book twice, by the way. Yeah, twice. Yeah, check those reviews out, guys, uh, please. Uh, I won't link them in the description because uh, you can just search them on YouTube, guys. You can just search them up. You don't need to need my help to find a video for you. And you can just search them up. Anyways, anyways yeah, very good book. Uh, very good monster. Classic tale. Classic ending in a classic world. Yeah. It's a great monster. There being the goblin. Green mask. Yeah. Yeah. It looks good. Kills. A great tagline. And what else to say? It's a classic. Episode 3 2. Love the actress who played Claire Beth, by the way. Number 1. The obviously One Date Horrorland. My favorite book of all time. It's very good. And uh, there's no boring moment. This is probably the only one in the series I'd reread really again. Yeah. Yeah, you're sure. Yeah, you can say, oh, a bunch of other books are great, like Han the Mask or Sally's Nightmare. This one's the best one. There's no boring moment. There's no, like, say, bad chase scenes or whatever. There's no bad jokes or bad worry elements or bad jump scares. This one's just entertaining all around. Yeah, that's why I read this book a lot. It's very entertaining. And uh, that's all I can say. I'm going to say about what it was like, except very, very good. So what do you guys think of my top 100 Gusons books of all time? Even though I didn't talk about so many books because it would make a three-hour video, guys. You don't want a three-hour video and just waste your time talking about a guy who likes Gusons. Anyways, uh, I thank you for watching this video and uh, Shout out to our 167 subscriber. Don't know the name is because YouTube never notifies about my subscribers and views, guys. Now, but anyways, yeah. Thank you for watching this video and thanks for subscribing to the channel. And and if you haven't subscribed, subscribe now, or else it's something the most evil punishment of your lives. Ah. Anyways, well, anyways, bye, guys. And what do you think of my top 100? And please post down your top 100 down in the comment section below. Yeah. Books and episodes, yeah, slash them both. Yeah, bye-bye.